give me some definition and it's also really slimming. Um, sometimes my face can look a little bit round. Hi lovelies, welcome to the new Storybook TV. I've been wanting to do videos for you for a while now, but I honestly didn't know how to go about it. I didn't know how to edit them. I didn't have the right equipment. And so finally, with everything that's been going on, um, I decided, you know what? I can't do a lot of other things right now. So I thought now would be a good time to try and film some videos and test out a couple things. So I thought we'd start easy today with a little beauty tutorial, one of my favorites, and learn a little bit about how to use a bronzer, blush, and highlighter to get those great contouring effects this summer. Um, and of course, that beautiful glow across the, the top of your cheekbone. Um, so bear with me. This is definitely going to have a little bit of a learning curve as we get better. I'm filming from my iPhone. Maybe one of these days I can get a really good video camera, but let's start here. So bear with me a little bit and let's see how this goes. Thank you for tuning in. So to start with, you want to start with a clean face. I'm a big proponent of washing your face, washing the makeup off at the end of the day. So before every um, every makeup application, I always make sure that I'm starting with a clean palette. So clean everything off, give it a good scrub. I started my day today with is um, this wonderful product. It's Tata Harper's Rejuvenating Serum and it's an anti-aging collagen treatment. Let's see if you can see see it there. And so I started my day with this and it was really refreshing. Once I had my clean face, I applied it all over, used it as basically my lotion. Um, I didn't do much else besides that today. I'm kind of trying to keep things a little bit more simple. Um, and so what I did after that is I applied my primer. I'm a huge proponent of primer. This is the Guerlain's Lore. And it's really neat. It's a radiance concentrate and it has pure gold inside of it. So those little flakes that you can see, that is actually gold. And so it adds this really pretty uh, shine to your face. That's um, really neat. But as you can see, I'm gonna have to go buy some more soon cause I love it and I use it constantly. Uh, so I did my Tata Harper. I did my Guerlain Laura primer. And then the next thing that I did was my Guerlain foundation applied that all over and then I also use a, um, a Chanel um, their powder which I like as well and so that was kind of basically all that I have on my face besides I went ahead and did my eyes as you can tell because before when I didn't have my eyes done I looked slightly scary and I didn't want to scare all of you so I went ahead and I did my eyes and I put on a gorgeous um, lipstick which I'll tell you about in a little bit but essentially this is what I have on my face and so you can see here um, while I have a really good um, foundation to to work with now um, there's really not any other color going on besides my natural color um, so this is where we're going to get to the tutorial on um, bronzing, highlighting, and of course applying bl blush. So, step one, contouring. I just recently got a new product, um, a new bronzer that I am absolutely in love with. Um, it is actually Chanel's Healthy Glow Sheer. And I love this product because it's really easy to build with. Um, this is one that was more um, for my color, but they obviously have a variety of different shades. Um, but it's an excellent bronzer. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a contouring brush. Just like this. And to start with, you're just going to get a little bit of bronzer. Now remember, go light because what you don't wanna do is go super heavy, then you have to take it off, start all over again. So go light. Remember, we're going to build here. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply the bronzer right below the cheekbone. You can almost see where I have a slight little bit of a shadow here. And so we're going to apply just right there to start with. And I recommend starting towards your ear and then working your way down. And we're just gonna go light here. also really slimming. Um, sometimes my face can look a little bit rounder um, and so this is one of those great ways to give you some definition. 
And so you can just see here, it's a really natural build. And then once we've done the cheek, I like to work up around the top of my forehead. Again, a slimming effect. But if you notice, this is also all these areas. These are where the, this is where the sun naturally hits you. So I'm going to work all the way kind of around worked all the way around here. I hope you can see this with this light. And so I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a tan going on here. And then I also, I like to contour on my nose just a little bit here. Okay. So now that we have that, I am going to take another brush. All right, and I'm just going to blend that in. That way we don't have any harsh lines. We want everything to look natural. So I'm just blending in all of those edges and then towards my forehead, I'm blending out towards my hairline, making sure that everything looks very natural. I have been bronzed. I've got a little bit more color here. I'm not so pale, much better. Now let's add some color. I'm a huge Tom Ford fan and I really love his blushes as well. And so this is a really pretty natural um, blush since I do have quite a bit going on with my lips here. Mwah. I'm gonna keep it pretty natural when it comes to my blush. And so this is Tom Ford's Love Lust. Isn't that fun? Love Lust. And so I'm gonna take a blush brush. I like them nice and fluffy. I'm just gonna get a little bit of that color there. Not too much, again, start light because we can build. If you go too dark, you gotta start over. So I just got a little bit of color. And for the blush, we're just gonna go right along that cheekbone. Now make sure that you don't get too far towards the inner part of your face because then it just doesn't look natural. Just done a little bit on my blush brush. And I'm just going to go across the top of my cheekbone. Be careful not to go too far in. Again, that's gonna make it look unnatural. So I'm just going to build this color. Start, again, start really light, because you can always add, can't take away. Nice little bit of color there. And then I'm going to take that um, other contouring blush that I blended with, and I'm just gonna kind of blend all that real nicely together. Again, no lines, want everything to blend together so it looks real natural. Okay, so you can see I've got that pretty pink there, a little bit of contouring going on. Hopefully you can see that nicely. All right, now let's go to the highlighter. And this product um, that I'm going to show you is actually one of my favorite products right now. Um, it's Laura Mercier, and it is their face illuminator in devotion. And look how gorgeous this product is. Getting a reflection there, but you can see how pretty it is. Um, I have pink undertones to my skin, um, so they actually have this in three different colors. Um, I selected the one that has the pink because of my undertones, um, but it would look so pretty on so many people. And so what you're gonna do with the highlighter is you're just gonna go right across the top of your cheekbone to start. You also want to put it down the top of your nose, right across the bridge, right in the cupid's bow. I like to add a little bit right across the top of my eyebrow. So you can use an eyeshadow brush for this, but just for simplicity's sake, I'm using the same brush right there on that, your eyebrow. And then I like to work it just around the top here just to give me a little extra 
Right now I could use all the brightening I can get, so I will take it. Awesome, okay. Now we have it. All right, so that is the finished look. I hope you can see it good here. Let me know what you think about um, this video. Um, I'm also excited because I'm going to have a giveaway for you as well. I thought since we're you know just starting to do these videos, I have some goodies for you as well. So let's chat about those goodies and how to enter to win them. Here is what you can win. So first, it is the California Tan Instant Sunless Spray. It develops into this really pretty bronze. It's very easy to apply, doesn't streak, doesn't stink. Really great product here. Well as the Global Beauty Care Spa Treatment Mask. Um, this is, you can see this with coconut oil here, um, and it takes about 20 minutes. It's a soothing 20 minute facial therapy, effectively moisturizes and nourishes the skin. So you can have a nice little beauty day and have a little relaxation. Also is going to be the Palmetto Derma Rejuvening Antioxidant Mask. And lastly in your little goodie box is the ELF ELF Mix and Mingle Five Piece lip set. I love this brand. It's always um, lots of really great goodies and um, fun stuff that you can give to your girlfriends and um, snag at Target. Um, so that's just a little fun um, giveaway for you. So here's how to enter. First, subscribe to my new channel. Yay! Second, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you liked it. And third, comment below what you loved about this video or what you learned or what else would you like to learn. Um, so thank you so much storybook readers. Um, if you look below, you can see all the different products that I used in case you'd like to try them. And don't forget to turn, tune into the blog at thestorybook.com for more. Thank you again. Bye lovelies.